This is the preface to the Screwtape Letters. This is C.S. Lewis talking here. I have no intention of explaining how the correspondence which I now offer to the public fell into my hands. There are two equal and opposite errors into which our race can fall about the devils. One is to believe, disbelieve in their existence. The other is to believe and to feel an, an excessive and unhealthy interest in them. Let me read you those two lines again. One is to disbelieve in their existence. The other is to believe and to feel an excessive and unhealthy interest in them. So C.S. Lewis says that when it comes to spiritual warfare and thinking about Satan and demons, there are two camps that we can fall into that he says are errors. The first is to not believe that they exist, right? To think that spiritual warfare is not a thing and that demons do not exist. The second error that we can make is to believe in them and to feel an excessive and unhealthy interest in them. Because if that's what we're focused on all the time, if that's if we're focused on the fact that demons exist and there's spiritual warfare and we're constantly being tempted and so forth, then we're not focused on what's important. And what's important is God and his word. So instead of focusing on what's important, we focus on the unimportant, which causes fear. Right? And fear does not come from the Lord. They themselves are equally pleased by both errors and hail a materialist or a magician with the same delight. And that's another way of just saying what he just did, because a materialist is someone who believes in what they can see, this visible world, and thinks that there's nothing beyond that world. And then when he says the term magician, those are people right, that are constantly thinking about the world beyond, the spiritual world, and, and so forth, um, that are overly interested in these evil spirits. So again, both are bad. The sort of script which is used in this book can be very easily obtained by anyone who has once learned the knack. The ill-disposed or excitable people who might make a bad use of it shall not learn it from me. Readers are advised to remember that the devil is a liar. Let me read that to you again. Readers are advised to remember that the devil is a liar. So C.S. Lewis tells us before we even begin this book, which is a series of letters from one demon to another demon, right? one devil to another devil, he says, remember that the devil is a liar. So nothing you read can potentially be believed because the devil is a deceiver, right? And so the demons are going to turn situations around to make themselves look the best that they possibly can. So C.S. Lewis says, you can't believe everything that you read. So what you are about to read is written from a demon's point of view. So he is an unreliable narrator. Not everything that Screwtape says, who is the main character, he's the one that writes all letters, should be assumed to be true, even from his own angle. I have made no attempt to identify any of the human beings mentioned in the letters, but I think it very unlikely that the portraits of, say, Friar Spike or the patient's mother are wholly just. There is wishful thinking in hell as well as on earth. In conclusion, I ought to add that no effort has been made to clear up the chronology of the letters. Some appear to have been composed before rationing became serious, but in general, the diabolical method of dating seems to bear no relation to terrestrial time, and I have not attempted to reproduce it. The history of the European war, except in so far as it happens now and then to impinge upon the spiritual condition of one human being, was obviously of no interest to screw tape. We learned two things here in this last paragraph. The first is that the book is taking place during World War II. And so there are some mentions of World War II throughout the book. However, C.S. Lewis says that we shouldn't focus on the time period entirely within this novel because what is happening with um, Screwtape and how he is saying that humans should be tempted can really apply to any time period. So yes, it applied to C.S. Lewis's time right back during World War II, but it can still be applied to today as well.